Uh, okay, I'm doing this to try to clarify some of the stuff. Uh, should be able to see the difference in colors now a lot easier. There's the uh, index. The green and the blue and the red should be clear. This over here should be clear. The uh, chips. This is all heat synced. Heat sink compound and screwed down tight to this case, aluminum case. Then you have the big ass heat sink, just to let you know. And those wires are definitely hooked up. Whoops, it's outside, so there's a little bit of wind. I picked it up and it. Anyway, to clarify, I'm using a flashlight because I'm in the shade. It's too damn hot to be in the sun. Okay, you've got to have a induction coil or inductor going to the positive. That's going into here, right here. Then this is your output, and your grounds are down there. Then this pot is replaced by these four resistors. You've got that resistor right there is a 1.8 K which is listed on the paper it's inside you want to put a 10 K 20 turn pot inside a 1 K to a switch and a 2 K 10 turn pot like this one that has multiple turns and this will be on the dash with a meter you need a uh, meter with a shunt, you put the shunt on the output so that you can keep the voltage at whatever voltage you need to keep the amperage correct. This does not have a voltage correction. It, When it gets too hot, it reduces the voltage going in. So the cooler you keep it, the more amperage you can get out. If you don't have it cool enough, you will get less and less voltage, which will give you less and less amperage out. I got a little bit of a sniffles. Anyway, you should be able to uh, discern from this to build your own. This pot will be on the dash. It'll be a 2K with a 1K for uh, heat. That's the switch that you flip to lower it about 20 amps, or about, no, about, actually it would be, on my meter, it goes from 80 down to 60, which is 10 amps. When you turn the heat, when you turn the car back on, It'll jump into the 70s, and then as it cools down, it'll get back into the 60s, and then you can switch the switch, and you'll be back where you were. Otherwise, it'll go into the hundreds on my meter, which would be 50 amps, which is way too much for this module. And it could burn it out. That's why I have the switch. I ran into that problem when I first tested it. Because when you stop, the water gets hot, and that makes it draw more amperage until it cools down. But of course, if you only go into a store for five or ten minutes, that five or ten minutes is going to be heating up the water from the hot engine. Now, if you park it overnight, of course, you're going to be cool. So you can have the switch in the normal position. Otherwise, you have to have it in the hot position until it's cooled down again. Okay. That's all I can tell you for right now. Bye now.